Hey guys, Ernie here, Paleo Hiker MD, and today we're going to take a look at an ultralight option if you want to go out into the bush and you want to make a frying pan. Now, a lot of times we want something that we could fry something up on, but really don't want to carry a big old frying pan or have something that has a handle that takes up a lot of space in your pack. So today we're going to take a look at an ultralight frying pan to take with you backpacking. Stay tuned. All right guys, so let's take a look and see what can we use as an ultralight frying pan when we go backpacking or bushcrafting or whatever it might be. Now the original idea for this I got from a channel which most of you probably know called MCQ Bushcraft. Uh, Mike uses a specific titanium plate for his model. Now that plate is, uh, I think it's called the Life Adventure plate and it's available here in the US but it's hard to get and it's um, it's about $30 a lot more expensive so I started to think well is there another plate that we can use to kind of replicate that and I found this one right here it is a snow peak titanium plate I'm gonna weigh it for you guys give you the dimensions and then show you how it is we'll make it into a really easy and effective frying pan um, the exact cost of it I always get to making these videos and then I forget I'll put it down here but it was less than $15. I want to say it was maybe $12 or something like that. So very affordable. Uh, it is titanium. So let's take a look at it and weigh it. It weighs 2.25 excuse me, 2 ounces or 63 grams. So very, very lightweight. The dimensions are, looks like the diameter is about 7.5 inches. And the depth is, I would say, an inch. So seven and a half inches across and one inch in depth. So how does it work to make this into a frying pan? Well, the key is, you might be able to see there's a little lip here. Now this thing's already a little bit deformed from heat, but that's just part of the deal. Um, there's a little lip and that was kind of the key on MCQ Bushcraft's channel to make this into a frying pan. So what he does is he takes a stick. This is a pretty nice sized green um, stick. Um, and he cuts, and I'm going to zoom in for you guys to see this here. He cuts a channel. You can see it right there. Um, at that angle. It's probably about uh, maybe a 35 to 40 degree angle towards the end of your stick. Now I cut that using my Laplander saw. Very simple. You just get your Laplander and you put it at that angle and you saw it straight through like that. Now if you're ultra lighting you may not have a Laplander saw but you certainly can get yourself for example a Swiss Army knife or a multi-tool that has a saw on it. And you definitely want something that you can have a saw that will create that. Now if you take your um, plate and you just kind of put it in there and set it into there, you've got yourself a very functional uh, frying pan. Now it's titanium, it uh, transfers heat extremely well. Uh, it will discolor, it will warp, but it's a $12 plate. And I've used it quite a bit straight over an open fire um, and it's worked extremely well so far. This is an MSR fuel canister. It is full, it weighs 13 ounces. Um, and you guys can see that it very easily holds up in this. This thing's not falling down. I can move it up and down. And anything you're gonna cook, I think is probably in something this size is gonna be less than 13.1 ounces. But just to show you guys the strength, if you cut it right, and it's very easily, easy to do, you can get this to hold without a problem. So there you go, guys. That's a quick and simple ultralight uh, frying pan for the bush. Um, I was interested in this and I didn't want to spend $30 on a plate um, because I couldn't get it easily here in the States. Maybe you guys can find it easily, but I just wanted to show that as long as you get one with a lip, this is of course again the, the Snow Peak Titanium Plate. Um, it easily turns into a frying pan 
and is a great option for uh, frying out over an open fire. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you guys like this uh, quick tip. And um, like, comment, subscribe. Really helps if you guys will like down there. Hey, give me the thumbs up. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. So thanks for watching Paleo Hiker MD.